Mobile Boy. Yes. Mobile Sometimes Legends. you just gotta go with what works. Welcome to the game at number one. First match of the day here, playoffs day number two. FCAP versus Blacklist International. What we saw yesterday, man, a very impressive from Blacklist. I think a lot, again, a lot of people, if you guys missed it, yep. they perform out of their minds. Ingon, how are we feeling about the lineups here? You know, uh, I gotta agree with the panel again. It's hard to execute when Blacklist is up to Especially when uh, Super Marco the Bullet Proof. You all know in terms of. The oh, hold on, I think they're still engaging, Perks! Okay, we're going for the counter attack. Here comes the Shadow Stampede for El Capitan View. But it's not going to be enough, though, as Kalkiti has to walk away. And Lord Tam playing out of his mind already. A double kill oh. early on. Make it three as MP the King picks up the kill. Man, this is a whole lot happening here under the two minute mark right now. I mean, we're talking about a good, respective lead early game leading into that first objective in just a bit here and with those kills two being on lord jm that's great for the lane matchup you know this is an arlot pick uh he just gets that level four he's got a nice lead against flap tz so this makes things really i guess comfortable for blacklist in the early portion of the game we'll see if fcap actually wants to respond to where they were trying different like lineups like lineup iterations and then they eventually found the best here's a diversion though oh, gonna make sure Ooh. super marco doesn't have a good time here even forcing out this flicker but in the end we'll bring him down so that was a way worth it trade for blacklist a diversion for the life of super marco but Kyle TZ was supposed to be dominating early game with the Suyu pick. And so far, we've seen Suyu dominate early games. We've seen it with Adoryu. We've seen it with Carl TZ. So far, not a good start for Falcon's AP friend because of the uh, unexpected aggression Blacklist is showing as MP the King and the rest of Blacklist works on Flap TZ and Ogwen once again as they will bring him down. Flap TZ has to go with the split split. A perks pops his revitalize. Okay, now Flap TZ still working on Lord J and Perks goes in with a glorious pathway with MP the King as well. Oh. Flap TZ quite tanky, but will he be able to sustain it? Here comes the Nether Realm, but they're just gonna break it right <laughs> away, bringing down two. MP is still alive. View is the next target, and look at Lord JM! 502! Man! Uh, it sucks that the Alamat Awards just ended, because this guy, one of the most improved players for the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, th that's a good point because a lot of people are talking smack on Lord J. I do agree with your point. MP the King, right? Okay, they're gonna send out someone there. It's gonna be Lord JM and the diversion, and they're just gonna wait, but I think oh. they're gonna spot out Oakwood. Are you gonna be able to burst him down? Though more members of the Vs are here. Perch might be in trouble, so the Shadow Slap people catch him. Flap TZ goes in as well, and the class will stop there. And okay, going back to MP the King, he's having such a good time because during the regular season, we would always see MP the King struggling because uh, uh, enemies would tend to invade this purple buff, but this time 3 0 3 start. Not even minding whatever clash is happening right now, just focusing on the macro yep. for MP the King. Yeah, and that's that's what that's what I'm saying. Like they're just gonna have kind of an easy time right now. Third turtle, I would be surprised if FCAP really wants to press into this and contest it. It looks like you know they're kind of getting angled for this. And we'll see if they actually do it, but it looks like not. Three for three now on the Turtles, as it should. Again, FCAP really just needs to get to the late game here. They're, I think we have to talk about how can they get oh, to this oh. game? Oh, hold on. Okay, okay. Oh, there's three three I think Ogwen knows. Ogwen has to. He spotted that bush earlier, but oh man, if he walks into that. Okay. He still has the AOG, he still can't escape here. But oh. he's getting bursted down, and Perks will pick up the kill. A fast burst, a fast rotation, fast play for Blacklist. And MP the King works on Kyle TZ. He's gonna oh. get stunned though. Temples of Blade will be casted. He has to walk away because of the tower damage. Kyle TZ pops his third scale. He's chick. But it's gonna be worked on so quickly because of the economic advantage and items and power that Blacklist has. So this is a free lord for them. FCAP will have to pull something through to get an amazing defense, but it's gonna be so difficult. Kyle TZ picking up a Sky Piercer here too. Yeah. Yeah, very, very interesting, right? They don't have any kills on the board. He picks up Sky Piercer, wants to just get one of the items that he can, but they're gonna try to hold this down. Lord JM, as tanky as can be on this R lot, now picking up Radiant Armor. But he's been pumping out the damage too, and that final slash, especially when the Nether Realm is popped, has been a crutch for FCAP to deal with. So right now they try to hold down these turrets. They're gonna have to wait for this Lord to march in. Oh. Again, where they oh, go. they're gonna catch Kyle oh. TZ! Instantaneously bursts him down! The timing! Haji! Haji instincts ever since day number one has been phenomenal! We're gonna forget what he did game three against Omega. The casting Aurora. a skill with the Aurora onto that brush. That's why they found out where the diversion was. And eventually swept Omega. And now the Lord is marching in. Lord JM catches three of the Lord. It's still there. They're gonna bring wow. down two. Next one, flap. Ogwin. Uh,
conscious to escape from the AOG, but they have to defend the push because five members of the Agents are here with the Lord. Might be able to take game one as they bring down Marco. Kyle TZ alone and Black 